We are back. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> We're here for episode seven. That was seven. a gift. Say the magic word. Band. <laughs> <laughs> I had to cough, but I didn't want to cough. It was a thousand times worse. It was a thousand, a thousand times, times worse. See, that screeching was <laughs> way better. <laughs> yeah, we opened yeah. with... Uh, Roland's doing magic. Yep, in, mm-hmm. uh, in Hillhurst with the other two protagonists and Flabber sitting on the couch... He's chilling. Yeah, he's just yeah hanging out with the rest of them. Yep. The rest of us for the best of us. Yeah, like, Roland's... No, uh, they really do just chill yeah. with him now. Yeah, because yeah, you see their bikes are just out front. Like, this is a regular what's happening situation. Yeah. Here. They all uh, obviously have troubled childhood homes. <laughs> yeah. The first thing he pulls out is a pair of boxer briefs that, first of all, definitely do not fit any of the children there. And sure enough, the shot goes over to Flabber, and he checks his own draws. And lo and behold... I'm pretty sure Flabber made Roland pull out his boxers. There are a couple other items he pulled out. There's a torn up shoe. Yeah, a torn up shoe. Yeah. yeah. For some reason. Now, it's just a it, Chuck Taylor that looked like it went through <laughs> Nom. <laughs> now, if you're planning a trick to pull a rabbit out of the hat, the rabbit's already in the hat. Right. Or it's somewhere. It's in like the table. Or your jacket yeah. or well, something. Well, don't they usually have like a false bottom or something that it's usually yeah, yeah. 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 Out of it. yeah. And you, you pocket it. Yeah. Back, you pocket, like, to have the rabbit in a bag on your, like, waist. And he's like, no, like, that was really bad. And Flabber's like, no, 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 you just need the right words. Mm -hmm. So he pulls out a magic tome. Flabber's like, no, you're pretty good. I mean, look, I taught Houdini, and I think you're pretty neat. So apparently he taught Houdini because he was like, oh, yeah, when Houdini came to me, he couldn't get his way out of a pair of handcuffs. That's the thing. It's not explained. Did he teach Houdini when he's still alive or when as he was Flabber. as yeah, a as a phasm? Oh, and Flabber also pulls his own head out of the rabbit hat. While his yeah. other, like, yeah. he, he, it's not like not he, he, his head disappears. He duplicates his head. Yeah. yeah. And the so, other one talks. To answer our previous questions, yes, he can suck his own dick. <laughs> oh. Uh, thank you. Finally, That's why he seven knows. episodes. God. Yes. All right. Well, I'm off. All right. Yeah. Later, guys. Yep. So I figured Flabber. out what I wanted to know. Bye, Nick. That's okay. Yeah, as soon as they take off in their color-coded bikes, which I hadn't really noticed mm. before, their, <laughs> their bikes are uh, green, red, and blue, just like their Beetleborg forms. Okay. It's, they encounter the two bullies. Yeah, Trip and Van. Yeah, they're, they're outside, outside the house. So they all hop on their bikes, <laughs> throw the book into the back of Joe's backpack, which this is like the third or fourth time they've put something in Not the back of Joe's backpack. Not even inside the damn no. backpack. No. They That's put just, it on an outside pocket. Yeah. Like, That's just where the MacGuffin for the episode goes uh, every time. It's... The book falls out, and of course... Uh, they don't fucking notice because fucking they don't know how to take care of yeah. magical artifacts from another realm. Yeah. Right. Not and not even putting it in t- inside the backpack and then zipping it up did no. not occur no. to them at all. I think no. Flabber is like manipulating their minds because he's fucking bored. <laughs> I mean, he's sitting inside rubbing his hands together. These little dumbasses. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's like, and watch, watch. Oh, oh here they come back. Oh, he's got I'm depressed. He's got. Oh, yeah. Oh, is me. He's got a little portal set up where you can watch him. And he's like, "Mums, mums, come here, mums, look at this shit." <laughs> Trip and Van pick it up because they're greedy little bitches, mm-hmm. and uh, automatically assume that it's real magic. They just roll with they're it, like, like cool, a yeah, magic yeah, book. Like, yeah, it was pretty glowy, and the words were all like, Woo. "Yeah." Trip and Van get the book, and then we cut to the comic shop, mm-hmm. and Roland is in a fancy silver cape. He puts a sheet over Joe. And goes, Alakazamo. Bitches disappear us, or whatever. <laughs> Joe Nomo. <laughs> the That's G- the more family. Be gone is, <laughs> be gone is thought us. <laughs> She's just gone. Everyone thinks it's an amazing trick. Everyone leaves to go back about their Ooh, business. Ah. Uh, meanwhile, Drew and Roland uh, Realize turn around. She's actually straight yeah, the fuck up invisible. Back, mm-hmm. And she's like, wait, guys. Uh, something's wrong. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. I'm... Stark, I don't feel so good. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> meanwhile, Trip and Van are in an alley. They're summoning arcade cabinets mm-hmm. and various other things. They're basically just reading off random words from the book. And they say something, something, uh, Magnavoria... Aperia or something. Yeah. I don't know. And they, they summon Magnavor some freaking Magnivore jets. And, yeah, they summon some Magnivore jets and yeah, But yeah, like, Mo- Noxic pops up out of a and can. And at first, yeah, he comes yeah, up and he goes, whoa, what's going on? Hey! And like, the kids start freaking out and screaming because this dude has just appeared before them and <laughs> running away and he's like, wait, no, yeah, 
you guys want to play like some games or something? And I'm sitting here just like, he just wants to chill, dude. Yeah. <laughs> He's in an, a random alleyway with flat screens and arcade cabinets. He's yeah. like, this is fine. Right. He comes out of it. He ordered the arcade cabinet in the other episode. Yeah. yeah. He Which comes out and all he wants to do is just wanted. play right. freaking zombies ate my neighbors or something. <laughs> like. Noxic teleports using the book down into their catacomb. And the rest of them are like, what the hell? How'd you get here? Oh, yeah. They can teleport. Their big trick that they want to pull off is uh, just teleporting all of the pizza into their lair. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Joe so we hard in, cut. They're all at the yeah. pizza shop. So all of them at the pizza shop. And then, you know, it looks like they're about to take a bite. <laughs> and then one of them just... And it, it burns from end to end with a fire. Gift. It legit yeah. looks <laughs> like they smoke the pizza. Like, yeah. it really and does. It, they show this effect way too much. Over. It's like seven tables I, worth of pizza get in oh, less yeah, than exists. ten seconds yeah. of screen time. It just goes right? through, and it's like every extra made their pay that day because yeah. they all got to be seen trying to bite a piece of pizza and then it getting cut and spliced. Only away. to watch yeah. it, only to watch it get spliffed into their dough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's the deal? Oh, minus pepperoni. The Magnavore jets come out, and of course, that means. Beetleborg's got footage. footage. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> Which, Japanese again, footage. <laughs> and, and it's actually a pretty good one. It's unique. Yeah. It's a decent it's, one. It's, it's the Animorph It's Animorphs. Mechanic. They yeah. blend and just bloop into their armor, but... Joe doesn't transform. For some reason. And we don't... She's invisible. She's invisible. She's like, I can't transform when I'm invisible. Like, Which is There's stupid. no explanation. Right. Makes no sense. Is it what like the, the Beetle Bonder can't find her or anything? Like, do I they don't... work off of optics? Like, some archaic thing? So they're like, okay, we'll go on without you. Which yeah, is weird. She's she still has her power. She, she has the advantage because she's invisible. We assume she can't go into right. her AV. <laughs> I figured but... I was gonna see, like, a bunch of the enemies, like, start getting, like, yeah. punched by something the invisible. Easiest... And I was like, that'd be cool. You mean the easiest filming gimmick to do? Yes, Just exactly. have them pretend and to get beat right. up? Nothing. None no. of that happens. Drew and Roland go up into their AVs. They do the exact same AV versus jet fight that we've seen a couple different times yeah, now. Yeah, the I green think. one just spins a cup. Do you mean yeah. the act at this point? The actual majority of episodes. Yeah, that we've yeah seen the, like, that the last fight. like three episodes. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And the, the blue They're one trying. does an electric attack and blows up yeah. three at a time. Saban did their best. They did. Drew and Roland finish their fight in their AVs against the Magnavore Jets. Mm -hmm. And we uh, go back to the comic shop. Yeah. Jonathan Taylor Thomas is yes. reenacting some football story because, you know, he's such a buff jock. Yeah. Trying to impress Heather. Yeah. Yeah. Because she can't catch a break for more than one episode. Be yeah, she was just sitting and listening to see what stupid thing he yeah. came up with this Because apparently she's the nicest human being on Earth and would yeah. sit and listen to a story told by someone who's harassed the hell I mean, out of her. <laughs> he runs, and Joe, invisibly, yeah. grabs his shorts, keeps running. Scooby-Doo style. Yeah, he just keeps running because he's a fucking idiot. This is the uh, Joe looking down the pants thing. Yes, this is where it's like, it definitely... It's, it's problematic that she's invisible because we can't tell where her eyes are going. Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, but no. they're children, so we assume she is not glancing at this man's Cuts to an old man reading the comic, right? He, well, he's, yeah, he's reading it. Looks like he's reading oh, yeah. the newspaper, but he's got the comic laid into the newspaper. Which they show actual Beetleborg comic. Yeah. So it's there exists some internal comic yep, pages. It's at least two pages worth yep. of internal art. We could have paused it and read it. I'm sure there was a plot. It's at this point that uh, I wrote down Samurai Man. That's not the right name, I put though. Shogun Samurai, but... His later... name, my friends, is Sword, Sword Warrior. <laughs> and I argue that that's... Sword fucking <laughs> warrior. <laughs> green cannon machine was like, yes, he is green, he has cannons, he's a machine. To be fair, he also has a sword and is a warrior. The hat and the armor and everything. I'm, I'm sure he has I don't a sword. Remember I just sword. don't remember it. Because he doesn't. I'm use, sure he, he does. doesn't really fight the Beetleborgs. He really doesn't no. do shit. Which sucks. Because yeah. he, uh, <laughs> he I guess like he's, if he's supposed to be the monster of the week, he really doesn't do a damn thing. No, he at has all. to be the monster of the week. There was nothing. Yeah. He well, does nothing. The no. week. So there, there was one other thing, and it was with Drew and Roland done with the AV fight pop down and start fighting the like grunts of the show yeah, the scabs. which we've never seen before and they're called scabs and they're yeah. like gr yellow and gray so they have like like gray uniforms they're humanoid mm -hmm. they've got like bug like helmets or masks or faces like, or something like shock trooper shock trooper yeah they're just like random they're just summoned uh noxic just yells for them again like he mm -hmm. yells for everything else and they pop up out of the ground and they fight them they pretty easily kick the ass of these little scabs. Yeah. That's when Sword Warrior pops in for the first time. For all of 
30 seconds yeah. that he's there. He, he gets he really kicked does around not like twice. Get, yeah. time. The three villains come up, and they're going to rob this bank okay. with the magic book. Like They're, they're gonna, straight like, up about to go heat Dark Knight on this fucking they're, bank. They're wearing <laughs> bandanas around their eyes to hide their identities. I can, oh, I can only hope for a movie where we see Yara, Typhus, and Noxic coming back. Everyone on the fucking ground! <laughs> you want to know how I got this whale head? <laughs> <laughs> Joe walks up in her sheet-covered self. Mm-hmm. Jara goes, oh, a Cut kid that. in a sheet. <laughs> yeah. And she grabs the sheet and pulls it away, and there's nobody, nobody there. there. The villains see that there's nothing there and run away and yeah. fear. Yeah. And then we turn back it to zooms what down. should be the invisible space where the book is now in front of and the invisible space. And there is a space. fucking snapback. Yeah. Superimposed. It is superimposed. It's not actually, like, floating no. in the air. It is, no. it is a, a static, like, JPEG overlaid oh, onto the fucking if, if anybody screen. knows what... Very, very... <laughs> Very oh, yes. horrifically move obvious. the background, not the object that it's yeah. superimposed on. They, they get the book back. Roland says the rest of the magic yeah. words. They transform again. N- yeah. They didn't finish the job. Yeah. Exactly. And this is the first time the that we've actually had two transitions in the same episode. So they have to go take care of Sword Warrior, the final battle. And it's not really even a final battle because it's, no. it's towards the end of the episode. It's barely it's super there. Short. It's it lasts Joe like two does minutes. everything. Joe does everything. It's on a park playground, which. Power Rangers did a lot. Uh-huh. Sword Warrior gets his ass handed to him and gets thrown back into the comic yeah. in the businessman's uh, briefcase. Hit. Cut back to the comic shop. Roland's doing a magic trick. Heather comes up, takes the rabbit and goes, you're so cute. To which Drew goes, aw, thanks. And she goes, not you. Uh-huh. And Roland's dad like grabs and then Drew... him and gives him a noogie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then Fucking Drew whip. just blows his brains out on screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> 